Let us now look at Pavlov's experiments with his dog. Pavlov's experiment with dogs was in relation to dogs salivating at the smell or taste of food. What he did was he would bring a bowl of food, meat or whatever the food was for the dogs, and gave it to the dog. And the dog salivated because the dog could smell the food. That was an unconditioned response because salivation is a normal physiological function. As human beings also, we salivate when we smell good food, when mom is cooking and you can smell the food in the kitchen, you feel hungry, you salivate, and that's a normal, natural phenomena. It is in instinctual. It happens automatically. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to make it happen. It just happens. So when the dogs were served with food, they salivated. Every time he brought the bowl of food, the dogs salivated. And this shows an unconditioned response. Then in step two, what he did was he would bring the bowl of food for the dogs, but at the same time ring a bell. So in one hand he had the food, in the other hand he had a bell which he would ring and the dogs would come because they could still smell the food and would salivate. Okay, And so he did that over time. This is not a few days, it's not a week, this is over time. Food and the bell together. Normally when anybody hears a bell, you don't salivate. Okay, but the bell and the food together, the two events happening simultaneously and the dog salivating prompted a new response in the animals. And that brings us to step three, which is now he only rings the bell. Pavlov rang the bell and there was no food. The dogs came in running, salivating because they were conditioned the sound of the bell and salivation were conditioned. They had learned that the bell means food. And now, if the bell was ringing and there was no food, they were still salivating. Over time, if Pavlov had continued to ring the bell and bring no food, salivation would have stopped because the instinctual behavior of salivation has to do with food, not with the sound of the bell. But a very clear and strong point that was shown in Pavlov's study was unrelated behaviors can trigger similar responses. There was no connection between the bell and salivation, only. Yes, there was connection with the bell, the food, and salivation. But the bell and salivation only, no natural connection. Nobody salivates when the doorbell rings. It just doesn't happen. And so it was shown that unrelated events can link and lead to a similar behavior. And if that behavior is to continue, you will have to reinforce, keep the bell and the food going together. So you can try a few days only the bell and no food, but then you must bring the bell and the food, otherwise the dogs will forget that they are supposed to salivate at the sound of the bell. So salivating only at the sound of the bell was a behavior that the dogs had learned, a normal, natural, instinctual behavior of salivating led to the dog salivating at the sound of a bell. Very important study by Pavlov. Great implications for classroom use because in classroom use, what natural phenomena happen? Anxiety, fear, are natural phenomena. You don't learn how to be anxious. You just are anxious. And when are students anxious? At the time of a test. Students are anxious. And so how do you deal with that anxiety? And so great implications for classroom practice based on Pavlov's study with his dogs.